Okay. So, hi everyone. And um, I am okay. <laughs> Let me get this together. Um, while our Facebook friends are joining us, we can go ahead. So, I wanted to thank you all so much for joining me tonight and um, to join with this ceremony. Lunar ceremonies are really special to me. While, um, you know, they're every indigenous culture in the history of our planet has celebrated lunar ceremonies. Full moon, you know, manifestation, um, you know, cord cutting, new moon, the half moon when it's up and down, like every week there's lunar ceremonies really every day. And people who are good with astrology can add even more to it than that. I have been fortunate in that uh, in my travels around the world, I've spent a lot of time celebrating and working with indigenous um, healers and teachers, wise people. So I have been able to celebrate a number of lunar ceremonies. We're tonight what we're doing is a little bit of a combination because there are certain qualities that you'll find globally in all you know cultures that still stay connected to earth and nature um the cycle of the moon really dictates the energy of what you can do with it like we all know that during the full moon like people can go get very emotional and go a little crazy or wild. We have a little more abandon with our, with our spirit during the full moon. Um, when I was in college, I was a bartender. That's how I put myself through college. Every full moon, there would be like twice as many police on the streets. And we always made sure we had like, bigger men working in the bars. I, I was in a jazz club, so it wasn't like anything risque because people would go nuts. Um, and certainly those who live by the creative flow find during the full moon, we suddenly open up and feel like we have, you know, art and craft just flows out of us. Um, you know, the, the vampires and the werewolves are more active during the full moon. It is, uh, it is a powerful time to open up and let things out, to manifest. The most powerful manifestations really occur when you open yourself up and you look at what it is you want further ahead on your life path or one step ahead and you look at what is within you, you increase the connection between here to here so that it is like magnetically attracted to you and you sever the, the cords that are uh, to whatever is keeping you from manifesting this. So manifesting at the full moon is very powerful. But the new moon is when we plant the little seedlings of our dreams. When we sort of daydream and um, think about what would be so nice if this could happen. You're planting the little seeds. The full moon is when, you know, you are then going forward. You're like harvesting, you know, and getting ready to take your harvest to, the, the, to town. So tonight with the new moon, we are planting the blessed seeds of abundance, healing. It's very um, hard times right now, very difficult, trying times, very um, worrisome. So the new moon at this point of planting the seedlings of love and healing, of magnifying the power of nature, 
this is so important. And then, you know, two weeks from now at the full moon, if you go and you do a full moon manifestation, you will feel the difference because of you planted the seeds in at this time. So, um, I'm going to take you on a little meditative journey where we become connected with the moon. Connection is also really important. And you, when you think about the connections you've made in life, where they were first made over tiny things, and then they grew and grew and grew, that often the connections that we make in a dramatic way, the love at first sight, you meet someone and go, you're going to be my best friend, or this is, let's, you know, these sometimes are high maintenance relationships, or they fizzle out, or um, as you get further in the relationship, you realize that there's so much here. There's so much more that needs to occur in the relationship that is not there in the filling. But when you look at the relationships that start over the tiny connections and gently grow, you realize with sometimes little to no effort, you now have a resplendent garden of compatibility and love, support, and appreciation. This is where the new moon manifestation is so powerful. And, you know, if you have one of those, like, relationships that started dramatically and sometimes it's a little a little bit a lot doing new moon manifestation towards your personal relationship or environment or situation can help then retroactively bring those little seedlings that give the the girth the gravitas that helps support the powerful emotional connection that is there um, okay, well, let's begin. Um, before we start, and I'll put in the comments section later, um, the video for this and more lunar ceremony videos will be available in the program on my website. So if you are following us on Facebook, go to, and I'll put the links and everything in later, go to bonitawoods.org, register for this class, it's free, and then you will have access to the, uh, the videos and more videos and lessons. Um, okay, so excited. I have my singing bowl. is for the pineal gland. I'll play that throughout our meditation. The pineal gland is that area, that beautiful area between where your crown chakra comes and nestles in. I mean, of course, your crown chakra floats above the top of your head, but the energy of it comes and comes down as a cone right there in the middle of your head. And your third eye, which opens front and back and around as well, your third eye sort of is a cone going out and it comes also to the center of your head. So where the crown chakra and the third eye nestle together, that little point where they connect is where the pineal gland exists. The pineal gland is so special because it's both spiritual energetic and it's physical neurological chemical your pineal gland puts out chemistry into your body and sparks up the nervous system it also sparks up your spiritual system your um you know your way of receiving energy and inf information and opening yourself to it having it processed for you so you don't have to be the one processing. And this is so important tonight when we are going to be on a beautiful journey, rising up, we're gonna actually rise up to our beautiful sister moon. 
We don't want to be in our heads processing. So I will throughout play the pineal gland singing bowl. And remember, um, however the information comes in for you, accept it and receive it. If it comes in with thoughts, random thoughts, emotions, if you feel like someone's speaking in your head or you're getting downloads, or if you're along on a great trip and you see it, or if you're like, I don't see anything, just open yourself up to whatever comes in. Accept it, experience it, invite your pineal gland to process it and unfold it for you so that your logical mind can just go for the ride and receive whatever comes in. Beautiful. Okay. 